Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Justenio Poissant and this is my family channel, The Poissants. And welcome to my six week update of my pregnancy. I'm actually posting this a little later than I was supposed to, but I haven't been feeling well to be honest with you guys. So let's get right into week number six. All right, so we have week number six and Baby Petrie, that is the nickname of my baby, is the size of a sweet pea. And there's just so much going on, you know? Every week there's something going on with your baby. So let's see what is going on this week. So this week the baby's head takes shape. Um, you might be coping with full-blown pregnancy symptoms, which, you know, that's good news, even if you're not feeling well. And what else? There's little indentations of the head, sweet dimples. Dimples, small dots on the will form on the eyes and a button nose in a few weeks also taking shape this week kidneys liver and lungs along with her little heart which is now beating 110 times a minute and getting faster every day so that is week six little update it tells you more things like a little each day and it tells you like different tips but let's go from the, the beginning of week six the beginning of week six I'm definitely having symptoms of high smell right away and I think it's so crazy that I'm only six weeks and that I'm having this intense ugh, aversion to certain smells and at first it wasn't really bothering me like I just had like a heightened sense of smell but as the week continued on oh my god certain things I'm like oh my god I was closing like my balcony doors like my neighbor she was cooking really good food and I was like oh my god that smells so good and then I shut it and then the other day she actually cooked something that smelled really fishy and it smelled like dead fish every time I left to like walk the dog or for us to leave I had to hold my nose in the hallway it was just the disgusting in it. It's so crazy to have such a heightened sense of smell. Let's see, what else am I like really sensitive to uh, smelling? Like Parmesan cheese because my husband is not plant-based and oh my god, I can't stand it. It's so disgusting. He can't, he can't use it in the house anymore. Just so many different smells and I just gag and it's disgusting. But peppermint really helps. I like the smell of peppermint and I also like the smell of thieves oil. I have thieves oil. It just really helps me. But you know, in a dilution, of course. Let's see, emotionally, like my mood. I've been a little emotional, but there's just personal things that are happening in my life. I had a loss of a friend from school so I was really like sad and crying one of the days and you know it's just really really hard just different other personal things so I'm going through you know that which is a human life what other symptoms in the beginning of week six for two days I had green bowels and I don't know why but I'm assuming it has something to do with what I ate or pregnancy I didn't eat anything different but yeah just to you know let you guys in on that I'm during urinating more frequently i get up like three times at the night just to go to the bathroom every time i have to go but also the reason why i get up my cat wakes me up to feed him i always put him on his cat tree to eat uh he's a big baby but i feel if he didn't wake me up as much i wouldn't be peeing like i don't know anyway you know it's it's a good sign that you're peeing because the blood is flowing hormones are flowing you're and it's flowing making you know you're you got a baby inside you pee for the baby in the beginning of week i noticed that my skin was dry but that kind of like went away I'm sure that will come and go what else I've been having like really uneasy stomach like really uneasy I'll wake up in the morning eat crackers I have it in my nightstand in the drawer I have my peppermint behind the pillow I smell that and usually I'm pretty good to go but towards like mid end of the week it's slowly getting a little worse and worse so I really haven't been able to do much I haven't been able to film really like nothing not I couldn't like go to the gym um during the weekend I'm just really like listening to my intuition like I went to the gym on Monday and then Tuesday and Tuesday I did leg day and then I also coach soccer for seven and eight year olds on the base and I literally was done the next day I just 
intuitively knew I had to rest. So I was so exhausted. I did not feel well. So that day I did nothing. I tr I did take a nap and I don't like taking naps because I never feel rested. I, I feel worse after I take naps. So I try not to take naps, but if my body is calling me to, I will do it for the baby, of course. My breasts are changing. They are a little bit more swollen, I would say, but not like unmanageable. My nipples are changing, like they're getting bigger, and I'm getting those, um, what do you call it? The, I forget what it's called, but my breasts are just changing, um, which is, you know, part of pregnancy, but I'm just letting you guys know what week number six looks like. I'm having a lot of gas, guys. It is so annoying, because I'm not someone that typically has a lot of gas, and sometimes I think I have to go to the bathroom, and it's just gas, and that is a little frustrating, and I burp a lot. Oh my god, so much. So those two things are definitely not in my normal day routine. And those are my, those are all the symptoms that I'm having. There, there are a lot, I would say. I'm thankful that I don't have severe nausea, but that doesn't discount like that I'm still feeling crappy. And exhaustion. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I don't know where I have this motivation right now to film because I'm overly exhausted. Even if I take my prenatals, my greens, I eat well. I I'm just so exhausted and also in the beginning of the week I was eating really well towards the end of the week I'm not really like like I just don't feel good and I don't want to eat so that's been a little bit hard yeah so let's go into like fears I just have I'm a someone who is fiercely independent and all about freedom and obviously with a baby you your life changes and I still have to take three board exams for my acupuncture license and I haven't done that because of the virus and everything. So, you know, that's on the back of my mind. Like, how am I gonna do that? Am I gonna be able to, you know, I live in Japan, so it makes it so much harder that I'm not in the States. So that's a fear that I know will resolve itself, but I'm just sharing with you like a fear that I have and a fear that I will have a male doctor. Those are just how I'm feeling and you need to, you know, validate your feelings on how you're feeling. But I also try to analyze them and try to put more of a positive perspective on them. But that's not always going to work out that way as well. You know, when you're not feeling well, you tend to more be like negative, I would say. Maybe not negative, but like just more down on things in your your life there's a but I'm super blessed I'm I know there this is a miracle that I have I know some people can't have kids or struggle so please I hope that doesn't trigger anyone I'm just you know letting you know how I feel as I am creating a human being but anyway happy things what am I excited about I'm excited that I found out that my doula is going to be in the delivery room um, here on base thing have been changing and they've been taking away less restrictions so I'm super happy and that actually gives me some relief just in case I do have a male doctor that does give me some relief and I'm excited that on October 1st will be our first uh, vaginal ultrasound and we'll see the baby so there is some excitement there but again a lot of sad news this past week so it's a balance of both but I'm you know moving forward so let's show you all the products that I got this week because I got a lot of Okay, I got a lot of stuff behind me. We'll start with the books. I found, I actually, who recommend, who did I, there was a YouTuber, what's her name? I'm drawing a blank. It's Ellen Fisher's sister, Hannah Fisher. They're both vegan and plant-based, but they, they really are natural mamas or, you know, towards that. So I love them. I've been following them for years. So Hannah Fisher is married. I mean, she's pregnant. I will leave all the links down below for the products as well, just in case you want to purchase them. This is Ina May's Guide to Childbirth. My perspective and what I want for part of my birth plan or, you know, my birth preference is to have a positive birth and to really think of and visualize my birthing experience to be really positive. Not saying that there won't be pain, because there will, but in our society, we have through movies and just a lot of trauma around birth. So this is all different stories of positive births. I haven't read it yet, but I'm super excited to read it. There's different pictures in there as well. So I'm super excited for this. Then we got my husband, the new dad's playbook or, you know, a book about new dads. So Devin now has two books on dads and he already started reading it. As you see, he has a bookmark there. Again, if you have your loved ones and 
and you know they're not involved or you're reading books and they're not get them reading books and get them a dad book you know it's a great way to have a combination of pregnancy with your si significant other even though you're carrying the human uh, the next thing I got was this nausea and tummy aromatherapy inhaler it's actually good for car and morning sickness chemo bad be belly and migraine and it has ginger peppermint and orange and you just literally sniff it and it's really mild it's not that strong in my opinion so I got that and in the morning I'll smell that or at night time the next thing I got is this belly armor and this is radia shield this is from belly armor the I just said it go brain and this is a size 2 that I got and that's a medium large uh, I definitely would measure and get a bigger size than you are just because you might not know how big you're gonna get but this is to this is an EMF protecting belly band for me I'm a not very natural type of person I do believe that EMF like affects us so I want to protect my baby as much as I can this is the, the belly band and it's big on me now but I still wear it to protect the baby I'm on the computer a lot you know I film I edit and I do have a safe shield for my laptop but I just want to be double you know protective I go to the gym everybody has their phones so why not protect your baby as much as you can that's just me everybody is different again I'll leave a link down below about EMF and all the things I just remember watching Sunkiss Alba and she has a son who has he, he's autistic so he is very different behaviorally when he has protection with EMF and with her second child she got the belly armor so I actually got this idea from her so I'll leave that link down below as well and I got pink they didn't have they only have beige or pink and they were sold out of beige so I wanted to get it anyway so whatever it is what it is the next thing I got this week was my oh baby subscription box I'll leave the link down below of me unboxing that video because this video will be way too long if I did that and then I also did a separate video on pink store this is the morning sickness bundle and all the things that I got three products on the side as well I will leave the link to this video down below as well of unboxing that super interesting and then I also bought these Guy Garden of Life My Kind Organics, Alicia Silverstone. She's also plant-based and vegan. She's the owner of My Kind Organics or co-owner I don't know exactly but this is the prenatal so now I'm stocked up on a bunch of prenatal because I live overseas and things just take forever to come here so at least I have a backup but there's a lot of good stuff let's see it has 600 mcgs of folate it's non-gmo certified organic gluten-free and vegan certified so there's my prenatal vitamin and I also have my other prenatal vitamin from pink stork so be sure to look at that and that one has DHA in it so I actually like it better than Garden of Life but I trust Garden of Life brand I have my greens from them and stuff and the last item I have is a gift from my parents and it's so cute they're bandana bib sets and look my mom got from like um like boho plant plant based so this is eat your greens and it's a little rabbit so she knows like I'm very boho vegan and stuff like that and love organic so it says locally grown and then a pineapple so that's really cute my first or well not my mine and my husband's first baby gift super cute and those are all the products that I got this week I, it's probably not gonna be like so many products every week but I we just ordered a bunch at one time I also had magnesium spray that was supposed to come but I canceled the order because it never came it never even shipped so I'm actually gonna get it from pink store because she has a magnesium spray the last item that I purchased was this mommy necklace that came in literally everything came in in the same week and this is from my favorite youtuber she just had a baby girl named violet but she's been my favorite youtuber for years named Sam Oscar I'll leave the link down below and that's where you could get this beautiful mommy necklace it's just so cute and I well my husband bought it for me but I I wanted to purchase it so yeah but yeah that is all the updates on week number six 
I'm looking forward to feeling better. I know it looks like I don't feel bad, but I'm feeling pretty low and I almost thought I wasn't gonna be able to film this video today. But that is week number six. Comment down below where you're at in your pregnancy. Let's connect, let's be a community. Hit the like button if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I forgot one more thing, guys. I always forget something. My jeans, my pants, I always have to wear like loose comfy pants, which I do not have many of. So I definitely have to buy more clothes, but they don't feel comfortable at all. Oh my God, it's terrible. Like shirts don't really bother me. It's more like pants. Oh my God, I did not think that by six weeks, my pants would not like be fitting and they don't. But you know, your uterus is expanding. So <laughs> anyway, bye guys.